All of us here, through one path or another, are sworn to wed the great king. Wait, he's got a harem? Oh no. So, do I just jump in? Oh, God! <laughs> I like your feedback. Go ahead. I'm leaving him? I can't lead him on any longer? I love Luma? <laughs> oh, I'm spinning. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, into Joko's kingdom. Um, I said I would teleport over here because that's where I left off. I'm gonna go to the Sand Jackal Run. Does dying to a wall count as V being horizontally? No, I'm V being is not a verb. It's not a verb. It doesn't mean anything. It's just my name. Ooh, all this pollution. The ground is Cheetos. Well, hot Cheetos, since it was damaging me. Flaming hot Cheetos. I could outrun a you know, centaur. what I do miss is the large-scale metas from Heart of Thorns. I love those metas. They're so good. And Pathfinder has some good metas, but they just don't... Uh, they, they don't compare. There's a reason the hot metas are still the most popular. POF just doesn't quite live up to those. EOD is pretty good, though, once you get there. Looking forward to it. Does that turn off? Huh. Well, I'll just dodge through it. Yeah. Not a big deal. Dodge. What the hell? Who made this? Why did they build, you know, flamethrower gargoyles here? Who's the architect? Oh, that hurt. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. No! Oh, okay. Damn it. They're really making you, you know, do this little platforming puzzle to get a POI. No, 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 no. They didn't notice me. It's fine. Ooh, I don't know if I can squeeze by. There we go. That's better. I'm going to wait for it. Dodge. That seems low. I'll just seven. Okay, 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 okay. And dodge. Oh. Slow and steady wins the race. Time to do some real damage. Just use sky scale. I don't have one. Okay. So it's not just a POI. It's a treasure chest. Well deserved. Whoa. What the hell is this goopy stuff? Uh, just to clarify, part of Joko's brand of undead uses tar as it involves more of a, mum a mummification process. Hence, Awakened and Risen are not the same. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. They're still both zombies, though. They're both undead. Someone mentioned that I am undead now, too, just because, you know, I came back to life in the story. But... But I'm fully alive. I'm not, like, a corpse. I have a beating heart and everything. So that doesn't make me undead. I think being... The state of undeath is, like... Juggling between life and death. You are animated, but you're, you know... I could outrun Your major organs aren't running properly. That's what undeath means to me. You were dead, and now you're not. Yeah, now I'm alive again, but I'm not undead. 
Are people saved in a hospital undead if they come back from the from flatline? Exactly, right? You're not undead, just real alive. I'll take it. Fine. Ooh. Well, that's neat. But you can't out un outrun a centaur. You can't un you can't un outrun a centaur. You can't can't okay, you cannot un out Let me break it down one by one. Alright, so un outrun means you can't. Cannot is that's a double negative, so that means you can. So if you can't un outrun, then it means you can. Uh, I hate this. Vanilla Bean can run faster than a centaur with two legs. Wouldn't that... They wouldn't be a centaur then. They would be a satyr. A centaur with two legs cut off? Oh, then I, I suspect they can't run at all. So yeah. I could outrun a centaur. No, I can't. I only have two human legs. Not terrible, but it does get significantly harder. <laughs> Yo, one use, one user aim? I think that's your name. Thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. VBB VBB fighting former gods like weekly now. Bro, I'm just used to it. I play so many JRPGs and every single JRPG you're fighting god. It's basically an RPG staple at this point. Uh, to be fair, Grenth also didn't like uh, things coming back. He was not a fan of Zaitan. Really? Aren't, like, necromancers all about bringing things back to life? Sort of? To answer your question, necros make abominations from parts. From dead body parts. Oh, so they're like Dr. Frankensteins. The necromancers, I mean. Making Frankenstein monsters. More like that. Oh. Oh. They make things. I feel like I'm in the fires of Mount Mordor. I was gonna say Mount Doom. <laughs> have you take have you guys taken VB to Joko's special area? For real? <laughs> that timing. What do you What do you mean special area? Joko no! Joko, no. Joko, yes. Now I'm just picturing Joko with his own Kool-Aid commercial. You know, he'll come crashing through a wall and be like, Joko, yeah! <laughs> That's a horrible joke. A horrible Joko! Uh, that's still bad. That's still stupid. Joko Latte? If Joko had his own cafe, he'd probably call it Joko Bucks. It'd be perfect because, you know, Starbucks employees always seem pretty much like they're undead anyway. Not that I blame them. Space in the floor. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. That is weird. The Mouth of Torment. Yawn. Wait, <laughs> Yawn Lennon's wife. Joko Ono. Oh That's bad. Okay, I'm gonna hop on to Mr. Chonkers and see if I can find the Vista. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Brute Force. Nah, he was just banished here by the gods. The Cormier stuff didn't happen until way later. Oh!
Just use the sky skill. How did I not? How did I know that you were going to say that? I'm running past these guys. Or not! Ah! Wait! Ah! Uh, I my stupid tunnel vision! I'm running into every speed bump. This is why I hate driving. Damn pedestrians! Yeah, I can. That is how you do it. Feel the fury. Creepy. Hey, it's Liam O'Brien. Here you go. That's a map to the key's location. What? You knew where it was the whole time? Of course I did. I got along and gave me my treasure. What? Why are you having children do your dirty work? Who are you? Curator Rurus? Wait a second. He, he looks like Liam O'Brien. Not the floaty eyeballs, but yeah, kind of. It's just bald. He looks like bald, older Liam O'Brien. These kids are annoying, said the Coden. Which is not surprising. So, there you go, chat further proof that the Coden are evil because they hate children. I'm not ready for any more new content. I'm sure, you know, most of the player base is itching for new content. They've been, you know, doing reruns of old content, Living World Season 1, which is uh, great on ArenaNet for bringing that back. That's very much needed because FOMO sucks. But yeah, every, I, I imagine everyone's just like salivating, you know, waiting for new content. If a turtle became a ghost, would that be a ghost in the shell? Funny joke! This must be the main chamber. There, target identified. That's a good one. That's pretty good. Five stars. What is going on? What is this place? Is that One Joko? Is he this flexing? This is Joko's betrothal chamber. All of us here, through one path or another, are sworn to wed the great king. Eric, I'll get you all out of here. Quick, come with me. Time to do some real You'll damage. You'll help us? We are not captives. We are gifts to the king. What? Our families are our leaders. Some volunteered. In exchange, Joko allows those we care for to survive and prosper. To leave would be a breach of contract. Can't you see how wrong that Wait, is? he's got a harem? We sacrifice what we must. I've got the target. I believe right now is a very inappropriate time to dab, but sure. Look at me, betrothed ogre. Joko doesn't really, you know, discriminate. Oh, offered me shelter, but they brought me here. Keep up your strength. Your time will come. Hashtag Joko did nothing wrong. Time to do some real damage. Uh, He's got a sweet deal over here. I hate to break it to y'all, but Joko's dead. How do I break it to them? I made this sacrifice so that my family may live. In the end, I could only protect my family through my sacrifice. Sacrifice to Joko? I volunteered to marry him. I know how it sounds, but my family will continue to prosper, and that that's all I ever wanted. When Buron entered, you wanted to be rescued? I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. I get so overwhelmed and I'm weak. No matter how hard I try, I'll always be helpless, uh, little Tiba. Is that her name? People will fight for your sake. This won't last forever. Oh. 
Damn. Joko got the harem ending in this uh, visual novel. In this dating sim. What's over here? No. Talk to them? Leave her be. She's shy and rarely speaks. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I see. Tell me more. I see. Tell me more. Does it does it not stop? It doesn't it doesn't stop. Yeah. Clearly shy and barely speaks. Bra, I um, Time to do some real damage. So Leave her be. She's shy and rarely speaks. I have so many questions. I was sold to Joko for a handful of jewels. Pray that Joko embraces me, so I may punish those responsible for the exchange. Jeez. Uh I hope the money bought them joy. Brought them joy. Because I'll see them burn. Who's them? Who did this to you? The men who damned me to this place, they'll suffer tenfold. Even if I have to earn Joko's favor, let him offer me one wish, just one heart's desire. What are a few deaths to him? Please don't lose hope. He'll probably just, you know, awaken them anyway and bring them back. Leave her be. She's shy and rarely speaks. He's got some peculiar tastes. Holy crap. A harpy. Damn. He, he, oh my god. You know what this reminds me of? This remind. Uh, I don't even know. Probably the majority of you don't even know this anime. But there's this anime. Don't look it up if you don't want, you know, certain things to end up in your uh, search history. But it's borderline hentai. Um, oh my god, what is it called? Um, Ishuzoku Reviewers. That's what it is. He's basically the main character from that anime, where they just go around and bang every monster girl. Just all the monsters. Just every, every monster type. What are you doing here? Where's your flock? I am one with Joko, and so the flock is one with Joko. We thrive in the sulfurous wastes by his will alone. That doesn't sound right. Now I'm imagining a Choya monster girl. Thank you for this horror. Why do you have to share with the rest of the class? Now I'm. Thank you for that image. Oh, they're painting him. Awakened servant. Oh, I can't talk to them. Uh, uh, uh. Snargle is going to have a field day if when he finds out about Joko's harem, right? Snargle would join the darn. Joko's harem? I think he would be doing Joko. I don't think he'd be joining in on with the rest of the girls. Joko, no. Oh, there's a POI over here. Wow. Those are giant bones. What the hell are these? Are they literal giants? Remember this was a sea before Abaddon dried it up. They're giant sand sharks that you fight in the next map. No, you're pulling my leg. There seems to be a hole. What did I do? I'm just going inside of a hole. There we go. There's a lot of weird goo stuff inside this hole. It needs to be cleaned out. There we go. I found the spot. <laughs> Look, it was too easy. 
Nah, Titans and Guild Wars lore are something else. Then what the hell are those giant humanoid, you know, skeletons? If not Titans. Those are some colossal Titans. Hmm, there's a worm in the way. All right, Jundu Hatchery. And that is it. That should be good for the rest of the night. Sanguine, did I forget to read this mail? I am so sorry. Onward to the domain of VB. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I mean, thank you for the 4 2069, as usual. It's not many. More drinks. Ooh, a uh, bunch of drinks. Thank you. Appreciate it, Minnie. Thank you, thank you. I will chuck it down because why not consume the What's alcohol? Crow dies. Um, I have dark olive. Heirloom, I don't have. Olive shade, I don't have. Thank you. A few days later. Mm. No point, Haxon? What? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm using legit techniques, legit tactics. It ain't cheating. Also, Crow, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, thank you. Awakened Wanderer, stop moving. There we go. Joko has left us. Who am I, if not his servant, his soldier? I feel like there's strength within me, but I can't reach it. Fight with me. Help me turn my pain into something powerful. Wow, we got a masochist over here. I don't know who I am anymore. Give me a chance. First, you gotta say, uh, master or mistress. You're a dog, you gotta work for it. Thank you. You've helped me find some of the strength I thought I'd lost. What? Would you trade opening the chests for a sub? Wrong! No! <laughs> I'll pay you 50 gold to open the chests. I have plenty of gold. I don't really need gold. I'm good. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Not, not in blood. Some of it is just, you know, given to me. What the hell? Where does this go? Let's find out. A new place to explore. Boundary Can't preserve wait. discovered? What? What? Oh! Oh, hey! Whoa! There are no dinosaurs. This doesn't really work. Doesn't even feel like we're part of the desert anymore. Got it. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wait, 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 no, wait, uh, okay, all right. Oh. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. There's not much to this area. I don't imagine there being any metas here either. This is just a nice little hideaway. What is this? Hello, have you come to pay homage to the goddess? Is that Cormir? Yes, there are those of us who have never wavered in our devotion to the goddess of truth. Even Joko can't erase our devotion. An Elonian becoming a god. We were dis yeah. We were destined to follow her. Can you tell me more? What would you like to know? Does the clan marshal know where there are still followers of Cormier here? No, of course not. We have to keep our faith secret. That's why our shrine is here, away from the village. Take care when you leave so that you don't reveal our location. Don't worry, I'm no snitch. I ain't snitching. Uh, what do you think of Balthazar's return? Well, if one god can return, theory. why not another? It gives us hope that Cormier still listens and may one day return and deliver us from Joko's rule. Woo. 
good. Betrayal. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not telling her. Here we go. Oh, I can tell her. So I've been to Cormier's realm. I've spoken to her. I, you have? She must know what we, that we still worship her. Did she have a message for us? She says the time of gods is over. Humans must make their own way. That's not really what she said. She said, I'm leaving y'all. I'm abandoning y'all and I'm gonna go on my vacay. I'm going on my space vacay. That's, many of us feared this was the case. Even so, Cormier is still emotional damage. Cormier is still real. And so is our faith. We won't give up hope. Have fun with that. They saved it. Thank you. Whoa! Ooh. Feel the fury. No one's sitting on the chair anymore. Slash sit. Oh, there's an achievement for that! I I wasn't even aware. I was just doing it for shits and giggles. Damn it. There we go. Got it. Looking cool, Joker! What are you doing? What are you doing? Who invited the flesh golem? <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hey, there's a secret stairs area. What the hell? Feel the fury. Excuse me, sir. I'm checking out your home. I'm inspecting it. It's another centaur. Uh, throne. Well, not really a throne, but it's a thing. Welcome to Joko's secret sex dungeon. No, we've been to his secret sex dungeon. It, it was over here with, you know, where the rest of his harem is at. What is that over there? Why is there um, a water slide? Okay, it's not really a water slide. It looks like one, though. It looks like one of them water slides in Raging Waters. Ow. Don't touch the pee. What is this? Veteran Sulfur Craze... You know what? Why not? Oh no, that's the hero challenge! No, I can't help! Someone else help him! <laughs> I, I must look like an asshole to this guy. He sees a player coming in to help him like, nope, never mind. <laughs> like, why are you leaving me? Betrayal. I, I'm sorry. I want to read. A lone broken egg. It looks like it's been here for a while. Oh, it's their baby. You'll be doing that one for days. Nice. There we go. Done. Is this easy mode? Ah, Path of Fire HPs are generally easy. <laughs> Way easier than Heart of Thorns, that's for damn sure. Any pay to win, though? You're not gonna like my answer, and most of chat is not gonna like my answer. Technically, a little bit, kind of. You won't get the best gear. You can technically exchange, sorry, you can technically buy gold, and then you can use that gold to purchase exotics, uh, some legendaries? From what I heard, you can buy Generation 1 legendaries and only weapons. You can't get gear, but you can get weapons. But other than that, you gotta earn the rest. Most of it can be I earned in-game, no yeah. Damage. Feel the fury! That said, I don't know if you can buy any for PvP. I don't PvP. Yeah, so a little pay to win, but with a bunch of steps. That said, it doesn't make the game a lot worse. It's nowhere near as egregious as, say, Lost Ark, 
Lost Ark is super pay to win. <laughs> Stupid snowball <laughs> off in the distance. That's smiling. There's also a world versus world beta right now. I think they're looking into changing it more to guild based play. Oh. So guild versus guild. Yeah. We did a little bit of that. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, one could say Guild Wars. A war of guilds. Already abandoned Alona once. Hold on. Why would we trust them now? For all we know, their dragon hunting is what caused this. So maybe they're not the most trustworthy. But what else can we do? What we always do. We stick together. Like glue and peanut butter sandwiches. Yeah. Except you didn't stick together when you split and became the Order of Shadows. What the hell? Oh, hey! It's a mastery! Creator Jotty. Hello. I can only talk for a moment. I'm the Order of Shadows weaponsmith, and there's a lot of pressure on me right now to develop new weapons against the Forged. Uh, what sort of weapons? The Forged around here go to great lengths, lengths to avoid sulfur. It's highly corrosive to their armor. If I can get my sulfur thrower prototype finalized, we'll have a huge advantage. Oh, <gasps> their weakness is sulfur? Oh my god, it makes sense. What if we make a sulfur bomb and just blow them up or corrode them up? What do you think a sulfur thrower is? It expels vaporized sulfur at high pressures. The forged are going to hate it. So how does it work? You're volunteering? Great. Take this sulfur thrower out and see how it works on a variety of different forged chassis. So do I just go around and kill things with it? I'm ghost busting or forged busting. All right. One. Eat my pee. Ow. That's a lot of pee. I'm gonna climb the stairs instead. <laughs> All right, they need to make some railings over here. This is not safe at all. Yeah, no wonder you guys are losing. You don't, you don't know anything about safety. Okay. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna go pee on you. Come back. Nice. Sweet, thank you. And now I need scavenger and sharpshooter. What are you doing, step bro? I'm just paying. Scavenge this. I can outrun a centaur. Just one more confirmation of how great. I got it. The achievement anyway. So does that mean I automatically get the mastery or do I gotta return this? Nope. Wait. I got it. There we go. Perfect. I have it now. Sweet. Thank you, guys. Ow. Filthy wretch! Jeez. 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 What the hell? Is that safe? Okay. All right. I'm gliding. Skimmer? Oh, I could have just skimmed that. Yeah, it's fine. Need to dive down. Accurate sink. There you go. Oh, 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 ha, 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 Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. But I can't mount up. I'm forever in combat. You know what? Just let me die. No, just, just let me die. Don't, don't res me. I was in some deep trouble. Stop resing me! 
Let me die! No! No! I'm gonna drown over here. I'm drowning. Let me drown! How are you so strong? Why aren't you dying? A -H an HS a day saves the VB. It's the first time I don't want to be saved. You are the worst Grim Reaper ever. Wait. Oh. Sadist. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Phoebe. Faeus, Merry Christmas to you too. Thank you so much for the resub. You lie from the VB. All right, okay. I went back to the settings that I'm used to. Let me shake the camera around to see if it looks fuzzy. All right, the fuzz is gone. All righty. Then we go north to Vabi. Let me uh, ride. Get on my... Let me get on Ricardo. The fuzz is gone. Sponsored by Manscaped. How? Although, Manscaped, if you want to sponsor me, I can always bring the fuzz back and then make it disappear again. And then give you a shout out. That'll be the joke. Or, or Pornhub if you want to, <laughs> if you want to sponsor, never mind, no. <laughs> no. Although, uh, Faku, or any legit hentai site, or Crunchyroll, are you ready to praise Joko? Haven't I already been praising Joko? This is Joko's lands, isn't it? How big is this map? Uh, Before you head into Bobby, I have information you're going to want to hear. Oh yeah, sure. The Order of Shadows is following your exploits in the region with great interest. Given our common enemies, we consider you a valuable asset, if not an ally. But we have concerns, is that so? You probably look around and think Elonians would be better off freed from Joko's tyranny as soon as possible. But you have to understand how delicate the situation is here in Vabi. Let's hear it. It's different this far south of the wall. People here have lived for generations under Joko's rule. He's their king. They believe he's practically a god. A god in horny jail. So they're brainwashed? It goes beyond just indoctrination. They've lived uh, alongside the, the awakened their entire lives. They view them as their friends and family, which is literally true for many of them. They're friendly with the Awakened? Absolutely. In Vabian culture, Awakening is viewed as a reward to Joko's faithful. They don't fear it. It's something they aspire to, uh, to be. Being Awakened to serve- centaur. Being Awakened to serve Joko is considered an honor. That's difficult to fathom think about it i could outrun a centaur think about it since childhood every one of these people has been taught to revere palawa joko being awakened is part of the cycle of life and death which joko controls he's all powerful to them they sound completely out of touch with reality this is their reality and I understand the impulse to treat them as your enemies, but I want to caution you against this. They're not dangerous or evil. They're innocent and deserving of protection. Of course we want Joko's regime to fall, when the time is right. But there has to be something ready to replace it. DEMOCRACY! I mean, what? If not, you risk plunging the entirety of Alona into complete chaos. We can do better than that. The forged and branded must be stopped. Joko's way is our best chance, and it's the only way the people here know. Ain't nobody got time for that! That's, that's good. That was nicely timed. Change has to start somewhere. There's always another way, and I'll help them find it. <gasps> time for timing? 
Already? Um, if there is a Wi-Fi spot, yeah, sure. Praise Joko. Oh no. Oh no. Is everyone just gonna keep saying praise Joko now? Yeah. Bobby is pretty much the same size as Desolation, just horizontal. Oh. Zone is still big. Okay. Tie me. Tie me. Do you read me? That's intriguing. And a little frightening. Care to elaborate? We're impersonating Joko's soldiers. I've already gone through this Cats dialogue. An illusion, so they look like it's the same as last movie. time. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. All right, no. Timey, shut up. Timey. No, I'm hanging up. Timey, shut up. You to keep your I let the Wi-Fi signal, Timey. You should be breaking the up now. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm going through a tunnel, Timey. I'm, I'm, I'm losing it. You should hang up. We'll talk later. Timey, shut up. Our best shot at getting back. My character needs to shut up, too. Yo, oh, this place is crazy. The lore of this heart is hilarious. Let me see. Help the royals of Vesjin Palace. Protect the royals. Show them how to care for themselves. Clean up their messes and clear out the vermin. They're just very uncleanly? Unclean-like? Oh, Asmongold would love it here. You'll need a pot to catch the ingredients. Oh, okay. Let me grab one. F. Wait, that's not it? How do I grab one? Over here? <coughs> Oh, I tried to intercept it. I got it. Okay. Oh. Once I get five, then I can turn them in. No! Oh. What's with all this stuff? I'm getting eggs, ripe fruit, raw meat. Stew is ready. Oh, it smells divine. Mm, yes. The fruit and eggs really complement the raw meat. Indeed. Delectable. Oh. What a delight. Are you sure you that's not, like, hot Cheeto yesterday. soup? Why are you breaking things? You're just making things even messier. <laughs> what? Well, hooray. Okay. I should have paid more attention to how our Awakened did things. I'll show you how to use a hoe if I can find one. Ah, uh, Words are funny. So I find untilled soil. My thanks. I'm teaching them how to farm. I see. Congratulations! King Joko rewards your adequate performance of today's tasks by allowing you to perform them again tomorrow. What the hell is that? Use items found around the palace to help restore ruined art and antiques before the awakened inspector arrives? The formerly priceless antique is beyond repair. Hide the evidence. Oh! Oh, okay, all right. He's inspecting the place and giving the the place a grade, all right. Kind of like the food inspectors. Do you want to be sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts? Hell no! <laughs> oh, the inspector's here! Oh! No. No, no, no. Is this Phil's how you honor his highest magnificence, Halawa Joko? This disgraceful state of disrepair sickens me. Unacceptable. Unconscionable. Unbearable. This place is an affront to his excellency. Uh -oh. Your punishment will be unpleasant. Kill him so he doesn't tell his superiors. Please, we didn't do this. This is far from over. Kill him. Hear from me again. Kill him. There we go. How are they going to hear from you if you're dead? Ah, yes, a fellow Ellie enjoyer. Ah, yes, a fellow Jesse Cox enjoyer. It sounds really weird when I phrase it like that. Fine. A fellow Jesse enjoyer. That still sounds weird. Yes, we both know the the guy. <laughs> I like his emotes. Come kneel, VB. Is this one of them achievements? Slash kneel. Praise Joko. Oh, for crying out loud! 
Now look at the praise Joko achievement. Uh, give me a second. Praise Joko. I don't care for this achievement. <laughs> I don't want to be a disciple of Palawa Joko. I, I respect the guy and his um, odd tastes and harems. And maybe, you know, his delightful centaur slang, but that's about it. All right, finished. Cool. All right, let's get the Vista. Help? No, I won't help. I'm done. Oh, it's over here in the um, the below ring, whatever you want to call it. Wait, how does one normally get here? There are no stairs. I could outrun a centaur. Mounts? No, I mean, like, logically speaking, yeah, the player can get here easily. I'm talking about a normal person. Just want to look around. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. It's a portal. It's a portal. It's a portal. Where does that lead? Let me, let me try the portal out. I've never done a portal before. So do I just jump in? Oh, God! Ah! <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, I live. That does not. I didn't die. So I just step in. And that's it. Okay. That's that's all. I, I thought. I thought. I have to, like, space bar or something. I'm heading west so I can get that POI first. Are those satellites? What the hell? No, they're, um, them, one of them sun dish things. What a rundown area. What the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a boulder over there. Wait, I'm watching this. Is it going to break? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dude, this is like the, the first level in Super Mario 64 when you climb the mountain. All right, let's see. Does it hurt? It doesn't even hurt. Oh. Oh. Why? Come on. Get down from... Yeah, get down from Chonkers. What? Why? Does it actually hurt if you're not on a mount? Bro, that barely hurts. Come on, it's a boulder. And it tickled me. Pathetic. Just do what you're doing, VB. No special reason to stop there. True, My yeah. Knowledge grows. Whoa, the foundry? It's a huge factory. Look, they got war machines. They got them cannon guzzlers. Welcome to Balthazar's forge. So this is where he gathers the souls and then stuffs them into his uh, metal machines. Well, this is an interesting area. Also quite dangerous. What is that? Legend, what? Legendary Forge Tr... Tagon? Tegon? Tegon? And what is this? Tamar? They're Balthazar's... <gasps> oh, I remember! I fought them in the story! You killed them and now they forged. They evolved. They digivolved. Crescent. 
Wait, what? Ask yourself, were all my actions today for the betterment of Ilona? If not, please report to the Mordant Croissant. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of Bioshock. Uh, good old days. Good old Bioshock days. This is cool. Mordant Croissant? No, Mordant Croissant. I am one of those weird people that love Bioshock 2. I loved it, but the story was worse. The story is worse than Bioshock 1. That did not matter to me because Bioshock 2 was way more fun than Bioshock 1. I'm the kind of guy that prioritizes gameplay and mechanics above story. So although Bioshock 1 and Bioshock Infinite had great stories, I think Bioshock 2 is the best game out of all three of them. There, that's right, I said it. I said it, Bioshock 2 is the best. However, I, I still enjoyed the other ones. They were good as well. VB, take this portal. What portal? Why? Ah! I'm dying! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! I'm dying in the fire! You killed me! That was you! You! Jedrick, thank you for the raid! A timely raid! Yeah, you toasted me! It feels good! I'm not into wax play. Do you like Guild Wars 2 better than WoW and better than Final Fantasy XIV? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Although... Rorik, thank you for the tier one res- uh, is it a resub? No, it's just a sub. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Uh, we were talking about if I like Guild Wars 2 better. Yes, I do like Guild Wars 2 more than WoW and Final Fantasy. However, that doesn't mean I don't enjoy the other games anymore. I still, you know... I enjoy Final Fantasy XIV's story a lot more. I'll say that. But it's very unfair to compare the stories with these games because they've... They chose to make the sacrifice. They wanted to focus more on story than gameplay. And that's just how it is. So... 80% of that game is visual novel, and 20% 20 20 of it is gameplay. I like Guild Wars 2 because it's a very healthy balance of both. No, it's... God! No, God, please, no! What? It's no. just my opinion! No. It's just my opinion, relax! No. I like Guild Wars 2 more because it's a healthier balance. Good gameplay and good story. And good lore. Yeah, I, I agree with you. The story in Bioshock 2 was garbage. That did not matter. That did not matter. I love the game. Just as long as the game is good, the story does not matter. That's my opinion. The story can be terrible for all I care. However, if the story is good and the game is good, then that's like, you know, icing on the cake. I, I want... I, I at least want the cake to be good, the substance to be good. Does that make sense? It sounds like to me that you're just, you know, more story-oriented, which is fine. Some people are like that. Jesse Cox, for example. He's a YouTuber and streamer. He is very much a story-oriented gamer. For me, I just like balance. I lean towards gameplay, though. Honestly, it's why... Sorry. Honestly, it's why I don't hate the Final Fantasy 13 series as much it's as others, like Mr. Cox. I enjoyed the game. Oh, the one with lightning. So you like 13 as well. Thank you. Yeah, I thought I was the only person in the world that enjoyed Final Fantasy 13. Yeah, I like 13. Yeah, the story is kind of stupid. I'll agree. But the game, I loved it. I thought it was really good. It held your hand for like the first 20 hours. Admittingly. Or do we follow these guys? I'm gonna follow them. Yeah. Yeah. 
World of Warcraft made me heartbroken. Uh, BFA and Shadowlands were just not doing it for me, so I fell off of WoW. Um, I'm willing to give Dragonflight a chance, though. It sounds like people, for the most part anyway, are happy with it. I don't hear any strong praises, but I don't hear negative ones either. It seems like a very mid-expansion, which is fine. So, yeah, I might, I might give it a shot. Seven, I can't get into only because the community and people have who have played it are so loud. I feel like I've played it even though I've never touched it. I feel like I know the whole game already. Understandable, yeah. Totally get you. Some, you know, gaming communities are so adamant about their games that they, you know, end up making it a turnoff for other people, if that makes sense. They evangelize. They evangelize the game, and that... It sucks. This guy looks badass. I still have a sealed copy of 13.2. Bro, I still have uh, the physical collector's edition of 13.1. Oh. Whoa, what the hell? Jeez, that's loud. Oh, we're going to be facing two doggos. Ooh. I know I tend to badmouth 14 a lot on stream, but I, I truly love the game. I still love it. Again, a reason why, you know, it sounds like I badmouth 14 a lot is because people love to evangelize that game too. Time to do some real damage. People make it out to be this perfect game when it's nowhere near perfect. Oh, son of a... Oh! <laughs> All that flash, and then it just goes... <laughs> what was that sound effect? Oh, yeah, no, the sound, the sound effects are great. Except for that one part where, you know, the doggo does that big, you know, Nova thing. And then at the end, it goes... Like one of them, uh, it's like the sound of a cat fart. I don't know if you guys ever heard of a cat farting. It's very silent. I mean, it's a little muted. It's Time soft. We did it. Sweet. I'm gonna assume that I automatically looted this. Yeah, I did, I got it. And Guild Wars 2 is much less well known or has been until a bit recently. Well, you know, marketing. ArenaNet, no, more so NCSoft. NCSoft needs to, like, trust in ArenaNet more and give them the means to provide better marketing, I should say. Let's see, we did the meta and we did the heart. That was pretty cool. That was really, really cool. End of Dragons came up and with WoW having issues, people were searching a lot of other MMOs to try. Yeah, that's the same reason why Final Fantasy XIV kind of blew up. And I think uh, other MMOs uh, enjoyed that um, WoW's failings as well. I think Guild Wars 2, um, it worked in their favor. It probably worked in ESO's favor. Probably more people play ESO now. The MMO market definitely needs more competition. I agree with that. Yeah. So it's nice seeing all these MMOs, you know, getting better. Getting more traction, I should say. You know what I am looking forward to, though? I'm looking forward to the Riot MMO. No idea when that's going to come out. Probably five, seven years. <laughs> uh, no clue. But I would love to play it. I, I hate playing League of Legends, but I do love the world. I love the world, and I love the characters. I did something Friday that might turn into a fun thing later on. I ordered my first set of D&D &D dice. 
I've never been into D&D, but I decided I wanted to try new stuff. Yo, hey, what a coincidence. I also got D&D dice and I got a one of them things, those dice carry um where you roll the dice. Yeah, see that? And I got dice. I'm dying. I have no idea when I'm going to play D&D, &D, but I would love to play D&D &D before, I don't know, I pass away or something. <laughs> oh, wrong way. This way. It's over here. Wait. It completed the heart. Well, I mean, that's good. I mean, the people having bad experiences because they assume their games will be like Critical Role. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, you got to have like a... Um, d and games, I imagine, really depend on who you're playing with, especially the DM that you're playing with. Yeah, I get it. Have you played the first two? No, never played Baldur's Gate before. But um, the Baldur's Gate 3 is being developed by... Um, the same people who did Divinity Original Sin, right? That's why I'm interested. I really love Divinity Original Sin too. And since they're making Baldur's Gate 3, I want to give that a try. Larian! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Larian Studio. Oh. Is this a city? Garden of Seborhan. We're on the road to Seborhan City. Seborhan City! You there? Could I have a moment of your time? Um, uh, maybe. Sure. I need someone who will give me their honest opinion. The director won't be happy unless the scene is perfect, and I'm having trouble with one line. I like your feedback. Go ahead. I'm leaving him? I can't lead him on any longer? I love Lumo? <laughs> oh no! I, oh no! Wait! Wait, wait, wait! No! This was not my intention! Oh, holy crap! Oh my god! Do that again, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Evoke the brilliant, enduring ascent of your divine king. I'm listening to the thing real quick. Okay. Um, uh, go ahead. I'm leaving him? I can't lead him on any longer? I love Lumo? <laughs> Say it again with more sorrow! I'm leaving him. I can't lead him on any longer. I love Lumo. Amusement. <laughs> I'm leaving him. I can't lead him on any longer. I love Lumo. I mean, th that works. That kind of works, but inappropriate. Curiosity. I'm leaving him? That's my favorite one. I can't lead him on any longer. I love Lumo. <laughs> that was my favorite. <laughs> like, what? Holy crap. This is great. What am I actually doing here? Yeah, I'm looking at the event. Oh. Joko? You will not stop me. You're delusional. You sense your end is near, Tori Asa. They're actors. Okay, duh. What the hell? Time to do some real damage. This place is nuts. <laughs> Damn, dude did a backflip. Your Majesty. Praise be to Joko. This is one of the weirdest hearts I've ever done. Ch 
Choya Wrangler? Wait, what is this? What the hell? They have a Choya farm? Also, I mean, if this was Joko's harem, probably used for other nefarious purposes as well. Oh God, okay! What did you do? You pour chili pepper on them? <laughs> the trick to getting them active is to spread some chili pepper dust into the air. It drives them bonkers. I'm all out on my own supply, unfortunately. Do you think you could find some for me? Cool. Oh, chili pepper. Thank you. Hey, hands off. That chili pepper powder belongs to me. I need this. Hmm, I guess I could part with it, but not for free. What are you offering in exchange? How does, uh, hmm. <gasps> I can get you a part in an upcoming play. Interesting. Do you have a script? I refuse to join a production without reading it over first. What? How about I just give you coins? Deal. Here you go. Thank you. That sounds like work. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'll just, I'll just throw money at the problem. How do I do it? Oh. Huh? Should I double click? Oh, there we go. Okay, and that's the heart. Sweet. Now I can check out the pool in the middle. I'm heading in that direction. This has got to be the best part of this area. This right here. What? Oh. This is like a nice little uh, vacay. I bet people roleplay here a lot. Seems like a very neat roleplay spot. AVB, cool thing over here. Wishing well. Wishing well. Okay. I'll check it out. Oh, make a wish. A plaque reads the Well of Tribute. Light dances off the piles of coins in the bottom of the well. Toss a what the hell? Um, offer a gold. Congratulations, as the ten thousandth contributor, I will reveal the location of my secret treasure. Wait, no, your ten thousand one. Oh, I was late. I was late! Oh, I'm spinning. Did he actually take a gold? He took a gold! He took my gold! Give me my gold back! No! Sounds exciting. Bro! He made you bug? I, I can leave, I think. There we go. Yeah, I'm good. Oh. I'm big? Transformed by the wishing well. Oh. I don't think this outfit was meant to stretch. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, I'm small again. Oh, I'm supposed to spam them? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We're losing! No! Beaming Chalin wins the battle of the mines. Did we win? Look at that toothy grin. Isn't it just infectious? We won! <laughs> oh, that was close! Oh, they they crept on us. What the hell? Oh, that's creepy. Ew. You won because there's more of you and we had less players. Yeah, true. There. Target item. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Vabian Amusement Authority Affinity Analyzer. Take Affinity Analyzer. What is this? Loneliness Detector. It identifies lonely singles? This is not creepy at all. This is how you get this is how you get to jail. Okay. What about this one? I'll never find a companion to share my life with. What kind of person are you looking for? 
Kindness is what matters most. I want to meet the sweetest girl. I could have a look around for you. Would you? Oh, thank you. If you find a good match, please give them this. Consider it done. Oh, compatibility homing system. Two. Oh, I two people. Man, this is weird. This is almost as almost as weird as Tinder. By the way, thy Eggman, thank you for the follow. Why is it? Oh, it's pointing in the direction of where I need to go. And also, thank you for the sub. Thank you, Eggman. Appreciate it. You're playing matchmaker, yeah. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Really? I was asked to give you this. I never expected such a gift. Thank you. Well, I knew he'd be a good match for you. I could tell just by looking at you. This is weird. This, this is weird. Do I talk to him again? My heart is beating so fast. I've never felt such burning passion. All right, take it slow, my dude. All right, you don't want to blow it in your first date. First, you take her out, you know, to a nice place. All right, serenade her. Why are all the servants on top of each other? What? People, are you okay? Truly, I'm touched. Oh, I'm curious. What's going on over here? I'll never find a companion. To I'm not share talking my life to with. you. Ah, oh, whatever. Fine. What are you? Who are you looking for? Intellect really turns me on. I love a woman with a head on her shoulders. So not a zombie. Okay, that's easy. <laughs> it's an orgy. Oh no. <laughs> My head is dizzy, and my heart feels like it's about to explode. Can I interest you in Wait, what? Hold on, this is new. Hello again, thank you for making that introduction earlier. <gasps> I can make her cheat? Are you happy with them? We've only just met, so it's too soon to say. In that case, perhaps you'd consider another? I do like to keep my options open. This gift makes me so happy. I mean, they could be polygamists. I don't know. I don't know the customs of Ilona. Maybe they're into polygamy. I, I ain't judging. What? What did I say? I'm just saying. Oh, maybe it's inside the cage or the building. Hidden VB, nowhere near there. What do you mean nowhere near there? They blocked the gate. What? Try near me, east. Wait, all the way over there? But the vista's over here. What are you talking about? If you could assist us, we'd appreciate it. Okay, all right. Don't tell me it's a it's a portal. This is highly abnormal. Why put a door here? Put a door here. Oh. Got it. The place was designed by gins. But they have a door, they have a gate, but it's not usable. This looks like it's made to be opened, but it's blocked by a portals thing. Okie dokie. All right. I haven't finished the rest of this area, but I'll quickly do that when I come back on Thursday. Um, hmm. I've only got 28% done. Holy crap, yeah, I've got a lot to do before I continue the story. Brian? Enjoy. Thought this skin would be cool for your Ellie. What is this? War God's Dagger? I'll take a look. Thank you. Appreciate it. And happy holidays. Shiny. Hmm. Oh, man. All right, that does look pretty sweet. It actually does look really nice. 
I don't know if I want to replace my my thing over here because I like this whole Foxfire look. I like the the nine tail you know fireball things going on over here. I have the faux fox ears, although they're not actual fox ears. And these katanas are Japanese themed. That's why I use them a lot. Um, however, this is a really badass skin. I'll somehow work that into one of my characters. Because that is really neat. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And that is about it. Thank you guys. I hope you had a good holiday weekend so far. I'll be back on Thursday. Um, remember, Thursdays and Sundays are Guild Wars 2. Um, I'll be back on Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific. We will do as much of Vobby as possible. I have no idea if I'll have time to do the story because I will prioritize exploring the map. But if there's time, we'll do the story. And if we don't end up completing the story on Thursday, we'll for sure complete it on New Year's. I will be streaming on Sunday, on New Year's Day. Not New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, which will technically be the first uh, stream of the year. I will, you know, I'll do that. Uh, Tuesdays will remain to be, you know, my variety streams. They are Genshin Impact for the time being, you know, 7 p.m. Pacific. Um, in a couple of months, maybe February or March, I plan on taking a break from Genshin and maybe trying out World of Warcraft Dragonflight. That is not for sure, for sure. Um, that's not set in stone, but I might do that. I might do that. The goal is to get my Sky Scale and my Griffin before I try Dragonflight, because I would love to compare the mounts. That's uh, something I would love to do. All right, uh, yeah, Thursdays and Sundays, Guild Wars 2, Tuesdays, Genshin Impact. That will be Friday mornings and Monday mornings and Wednesday mornings for the people that live in the future. Thank you so much. Tonight has been a lot of fun. I will catch you guys later. Please stay safe and be kind to each other. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all the stuffs, all the things.